Are you planning a trip to Disney World soon and quite frankly are wondering how to get around Disney property? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing with you all of the means of transportation that they have available here at Disney World. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. The first and most well-known way to get around Disney World is by taking the parks buses. Now, the one really helpful thing you will find at each of the parks is the bus directory for the transportation station with all of the buses. And it'll tell you what resorts or where the buses will go to and what gate you need to go to get that bus. Now it's later on in the evening, I'm at Hollywood Studios and I need to go back to Epcot, so I'm going to go to spot 32 for the bus. Here we are at the Epcot gate, so we'll go ahead and get in line and wait for our bus. Taking the Disney buses is a great way to get around Disney property and you can find bus stations at each of the four parks as well as Disney Springs. If you're interested in doing resort hopping while you're on Disney property, it's important to note that the buses from the resort strictly go to each of the four parks in Disney Springs. So the best way to use the buses for resort hopping is to find a way to one of the bus stations that will take you to each of the resorts that you are wanting to go to. So consider using the buses when on your Disney vacation. Now, another great way to get around Disney property is by taking the Skyliner. Now, the Skyliner provides access to two of the Disney World parks, Epcot and Hollywood Studios. The Skyliner is a great way to resort hop if you're interested in seeing some of the Disney resorts, but it's also a great way to get to and from Epcot and Hollywood Studios if you're thinking of park hopping for the day. So now personally, I am leaving Epcot and I am going to park hop over to Hollywood Studios and I'm gonna bring you along in how you do that. Now we are on the backside of Epcot here near France and they have their own Skyliner station where you can get on and off. Here's a list of some of the places you can expect to go on this Skyliner from the exit of Epcot. To get onto the Skyliner, the doors will simply open and you will walk right in and then the doors will close after you. You may also ride with strollers on the Skyliner. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a final stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Now we are currently at the Caribbean Beach Transfer Station where we came from Epcot, passed through the Riviera Resort, and we are going to be taking that Skyliner to Hollywood Studios, but you can also take the left Skyliner here to get to Art of Animation or Pop Century Resort. Now, depending when you're flying on the Skyliner, you may or may not get your own part to yourself. Right now, I am flying by myself. It just depends on the time of day that you are flying. If it is busy whenever the park's opening, they're most likely going to put multiple families in here. But if it's not too busy, you get your own. Another fun thing about the Skyliners is that some of them have skins on them that are different Disney characters or different Disney attraction themes. So the skins are really cool on the outside of the Skyliner, but it's also fun to get one that doesn't have any skins on it so that way you can see clearly out the window but either way the Skyliner is a very fun and easy way to travel around Disney Park property. Phew! Okay we made it back home but don't go away because we still have three more types of Disney transportation options that we need to talk about and with that we're going to get into talking about water transportation. Now with traveling around Disney property another way that you can get around from park to park or from resort to resort is by boat. Now there are a couple of locations that offer water transportation and one of the main locations is at the Transportation and Ticketing Center at the Magic Kingdom. At the Transportation and Ticketing Center there is a ferry boat station where the ferry boat will take you to and from the Magic Kingdom. This ferry boat travels across the Seven Seas Lagoon and allows you to see a couple of Disney's resorts. When on the ferry boat traveling to Magic Kingdom you can see the Polynesian Resort, the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa, and at times the Contemporary temporary resort. Now taking the ferry boat is a really great way to get to Magic Kingdom because at times we will talk about another type of Disney transportation but the monorail line backs up and the ferry boat option actually becomes a really easy way and efficient way to get to Magic Kingdom. But say you don't need to go to the Transportation and Ticketing Center to get to Magic Kingdom and say that you are staying at the Grand Floridian Resort or even Fort Wilderness Lodge. Both resorts that I just mentioned have their own 
water transportation that will take you to and from Magic Kingdom. I missed it before, but there is also a water taxi, is how Disney refers to it, that travels to and from the Polynesian Resort to get to Magic Kingdom. Now that's not the only type of water transportation that is on Disney's property. You can also find a water taxi that will take you from Epcot to Hollywood Studios, but in between both of those locations, you can find water taxi stops for the Boardwalk Resorts, as well as the Swan and Dolphin Resorts. So when park hopping from from Epcot to Hollywood Studios. This is a really great type of Disney transportation if you aren't wanting to take the Skyliner. I will say it's important to note what time the water taxis travel throughout the day so that way you can plan accordingly and you don't have to wait too long for your transportation from one location to another. And if you are visiting Disney Springs or staying at some of the resorts around Disney Springs, there is also water taxi options that will be able to take you to and from Saratoga Springs, Disney's Old Key West Resort, and Disney's Port Orleans. So when thinking of ways to get around Disney property, if you didn't know that they have water taxis available, now you do, and think of how you can incorporate them into your Disney visit. Besides taking the Skyliner around Disney property, one of my favorite ways to get around is item number four here on the list, which is via the monorail. When thinking about Disney World property, I would say one of Disney's most iconic pieces of Disney World has to be the monorail. Taking the monorail to get around Disney property is not only a very practical way to get around, but it's also a very fun way that allows you to see different pieces of Disney property throughout your visit. But if you aren't familiar with what the monorail is, essentially it's a train that takes you not only from park to park, but it can take you from resort to another resort. The monorail is especially used when getting to Magic Kingdom Park. You will first park at the Transportation and Ticketing Center and then use the monorail to get to Magic Kingdom. Now, as I mentioned before, the ferry boat can be a very efficient way to get to Magic Kingdom because the line for the monorail tends to grow much quicker than the line for the ferry boat, but the monorail is a very fun way to get to Magic Kingdom. So when getting to the Transportation and Ticketing Center, you will get on the monorail and it will take you straight to Magic Kingdom. Likewise, when you're done with your day at Magic Kingdom, you can get onto the monorail and it'll bring you back to the Transportation and Ticketing Center where you can get your car if that's where you parked for the day. But say you aren't needing to drive to Magic Kingdom and you're instead staying at one of the resorts around Magic Kingdom, if you're staying in the Contemporary Resort, the Polynesian Resort, or the Grand Floridian Resort, the monorail has stops for each of those resorts. It's also really important to note that they have a separate resort and park monorail. So as I mentioned, the park monorail will go straight to Magic Kingdom Park, but the resort monorail will stop at Magic Kingdom as well as all of the other resorts around Seven Seas Lagoon. But another really fun aspect aspect of the monorail is that it not only goes around to all of the resorts around Magic Kingdom or it not only goes to Magic Kingdom but you can actually take the monorail from the Transportation and Ticketing Center to Epcot. So this is another really great way to park hop if you have a park hopping ticket or if you just want to see another part of Disney property. So if you're staying at one of those resorts or if you're thinking of visiting Magic Kingdom, the monorail is a really great way to get around. And the last way to get around Disney property is item number five here on the list for those who maybe want a more flexible way to get around Disney property, and that is taking ride shares. Now, when getting around Disney property, sometimes it can be difficult to take Disney transportation, especially early in the morning or late at night whenever the parks are either opening up or closing. There's a high influx of people that are trying to use Disney property, and so it can actually be really beneficial to use an Uber or a Lyft as a means to get back to wherever you will be at the end of the evening or at the beginning of the day. Disney used to have their own Uber option before everything had happened in the world. It was called the minivan. I thought they were very cute, but unfortunately, they aren't doing them at the time of this video. So if you're someone who needs more flexible ways to get around Disney property, or if you're not wanting to worry about using Disney transportation, definitely consider using an Uber or a Lyft. At majority of the parks, as well as resorts, there are separate stations where you can actually go to get your ride share, your Uber or Lyft. So if that's something that you are interested in, it's definitely an option that's available to you. And there you go, everyone. There's a list of Disney transportation options that you can use and take advantage of whenever you are visiting Disney World as a way to get around Disney property. I really do appreciate that Disney has all of the transportation options that it has available because they're not only a great way to get from park to park, but they're also a great way to get around and see different aspects of Disney World that you might not see usually whenever you are visiting. One thing that I've really grown to love as I've been a pass holder and visited Disney World is getting to do some resort hopping. And with this Disney transportation, it makes 
makes it very easy to get around and visit all of the resorts that they have on property. So let me know in the comments below what's your preferred method of Disney transportation when it comes to visiting Disney property. I would love to know what you have to say. So thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you're interested in keeping up with more ways of making the most of your travels, definitely hit that subscribe button below and I'll let you know when the next video goes live. And with that, enjoy getting around Disney World and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.